Star date. The far distant future. Log of the Dreadnought War Starship SS Abu Bakari II. Admiral Amir al Najam, Prince of the Stars at the helm. When other groups of people develop, share, and promote their stories, mythologies, and fictions, they're called creative, innovative, and visionaries. But, when my people do it, we are labeled as eccentrics and criticized and marginalized, sometimes even by our own people, as promoting spookism, misinformation, and escapism. So that's the big difference our stories, our mythologies, our fictions somehow become offensive to people. So we have to learn to stop being afraid of utilizing the divergent thinking of our creative minds. You know, amongst the conscious groups, there's such a strong emphasis and focus on the study of history, and rightfully so, because history provides a people with an identity and information that will aid and guide you in decision making in the present and on into the future, but when we study the history of any of the ancient, indigenous, or aboriginal cultures and societies that any conscious group holds in high esteem, we find that overwhelmingly, they all had some form of mythology or fiction as an integral part of their culture, philosophy, and belief systems. And these mythological and fictional stories often serve as teaching tools to explain phenomena in nature, and to explain cosmology, the origin of life, existence, and the universe. These topics and explanations to existential questions are now offered in the realm of science, so these ancient and mythological stories were in fact science fiction or sci-fi stories. Other terms you find in scholarly texts for these stories are, Mythological cosmology, symbolic cosmology, astrotheology, stellar theology, space operas, and stellar mythos, all of these terms are synonymous with science fiction, a fictional story, a mythological story, with scientific implications. These stories served as a motivating force which empowered and galvanized their respective groups of people, providing them with the impetus, to obtain self-sufficiency, sovereignty, and build great empires, edifices and monuments, which still stand to this very day. You know, in science, in physics, time and space are considered part of the same fabric in the space-time continuum, so there is a direct scientific relationship between something that is far away in terms of time, and something that is far away in terms of space. Now, light is information, and light travels at a speed of about 300 million meters per second. It takes about 8 minutes for the light from the sun to reach the planet Earth, so when you look at the sun, you are seeing the sun as it was, 8 minutes ago. A light year is the distance that light travels in a year. So for example, if there were beings on a planet that was about 5,000 light years away from Earth, those beings would be looking at Earth right now, but seeing Earth as it was, 5,000 years ago, when the Egyptian pyramids were being built. I say all that to say, the study of history is similar to the study of otherworldly or extraterrestrial planets, far gone distant times, are similar to far off distant places, scientifically, both are equally far away in the space-time continuum. When it comes to building sovereign civilizations and societies, for liberation, the study and application of science technology engineering and math is the most practical way forward. It has been shown and proven that science fiction stories serve as motivation and inspiration for people to become scientists, mathematicians, and engineers. Dr. Mae Jemison, the first African-American woman to travel into space, was motivated by science fiction movies like E.T. and television show characters like Uhura from Star Trek, to join NASA and become an astronaut. Dr. Ronald Mallet, an African-American theoretical physicist, was motivated to become a scientist by reading the science fiction novel entitled The Time Machine by H.G. Wells as a child. In 2011, the Science Channel did a documentary called Prophets of Science Fiction, where they discussed how various science fiction authors like Mary Shelley, Philip K. Dick, H.G. Wells, Arthur C. Clarke, Isaac Asimov, Jules Verne, Gene Roddenberry, and George Lucas, influence the development of scientific advancements by inspiring their audience to become scientists and engineers, who eventually developed and transformed those sci-fi visions into everyday realities in the form of modern technologies. There are even plans to put a science fiction museum in Washington, D.C. as a way to inspire people to take part in the STEM fields of science, technology, engineering and math. The grandfather of black nationalism, Martin Delaney, the first proponent of black nationalism, also published a science fiction story called The Huts of America about a successful slave revolt in the southern states and the founding of a new black country in Cuba. So, you see how science fiction stories have impacted and shaped our modern world. For Africans and people of African descent, 
our science fiction stories have been interwoven into the fabric of our various mythologies, folklores, and belief systems. Religious and spiritual beliefs are perhaps one of the strongest motivators of people's actions, so a science fiction-based religious doctrine would likely serve as an even stronger motivator and generator for people to become scientists, mathematicians, and technologists, which is why perhaps that the engineers of the various Islamic-oriented black nationalist groups in America have also included a science fiction stellar mythos as part of their respective religious doctrines, and they have been able to organize, galvanize, and motivate their members to build nations. We have heard various backronyms for the word Islam, such as, I self, law, am master, and, I sincerely love Allah's mathematics, but considering the stellar mythos found in the doctrines of African American Islamic groups, another possible backronym for the word Islam could be, intergalactic space lessons astronomically manifested, second to the spiritual systems of ancient Egypt the religion of Islam is a spiritual system which has significantly impacted and influenced scientific mathematic and technological development in the world, terms like algebra, algorithm, alcohol, admiral, chemistry, and zero, all have origins in Arabic, two-thirds of all the stars that have names, have Arabic names. It is good to study history and ancient mythology, it is okay to entertain yourself with science fiction, however, you do yourself a disservice if you have more knowledge about ancient, historical, mythological, or fictional information than you do about real, modern, and active present practical information. If you are fascinated by historical mythologies, science fiction, UFOs, and extraterrestrials, then allow your fascination, captivation, and preoccupation with mythology, fiction, and fantasy to be transformed into activation energy to take part in the study, design, development, and creation of science and technology. In the future, as Africans began to explore the cosmos, we will go from the motherland to the mothership, from Afrocentric to Astrocentric.